Previously on Persona 3 Reload. This is going very badly. Ow. 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 Oh my god, no fucking way, dude. No fucking way. What in the goddamn holy shit is happening? This is unbelievable. Well, I'm dead. And that's just the way that shit happens. Fucking one fucking mistake and death and that is merciless and now back to hello B. back with some more persona 3 reload when we last left off well, now that we've got all this dank new gear and theurgies, the game's easy mode now. We're freaking gods. No, we're not. No, we're not gods. We're not. We're not even close to it. Like, just, I'm dead. I'm dead again, and I'm dead, dead, dead. Ah. No, the game's still. The game's still gonna beat my ass. Definitely, definitely, is still might beat my ass. I kind of set myself up for that, didn't I? I literally spent over three hours getting through that last section, fighting for my freaking life. And that last boss fight was easily the hardest one so far. But we did do it. We managed to make it to the next section within a day by the skin of our teeth. And I did see a number of you guys bring up that the Theurgies, it even mentions this in the description, that you, if you can use it on anybody, essentially, it ignores resistances, and that includes, like, resist, block, or repel. Yeah, I figured. I did. I know some of you might be like, well, Nico, why were you maybe using it like Akihiko's or something during some of these fights? Because Akihiko's is meant for like a big, large area. It's heavy damage against a, a lot of foes. So it was, it was only doing okay damage for like boss fights and stuff. I know, I know. I was sort of saving it for some moments, but maybe I should have been using it more frequently than I was. But yeah, don't worry. I, I sort of figured that that's how that worked. It'd be kind of hilarious if like I did a limit break energy move and then it reflects back at me and I just instantly die do after doing this really cool cinematic boosh however weaknesses still count so if I if I do use a theurgy that has like a like for example uh Yukari's wind element against someone who is weak to it it will take even more damage and it also theurgies do take into account the buffs that you put on your characters so okay that's good that's that's good to know also you guys point out the um the Theurgy for my character uh, with the like fusions of these different personas is actually a reference to FES. Uh, and it's a mechanic that I, I forgot about that you could do in that game where essentially you could fuse together the moves of different personas like Orpheus and Asperas to do a really powerful move. The problem with the mechanic was that it required you to have those personas in your party at all times. So it wasn't something that a lot of people ended up using because I mean, you're, like you're not gonna fucking keep Orpheus and Asperas in your party for like the whole game. What are you, a madman? But people did for a chunk of it because apparently that Cadenza worked like the same way in the OG game and it was just really damn good. I see. That's really cool. I completely forgot about that mechanic. That's actually a really cool way to uh, sort of bring it back in, uh, in in some fashion. This game's doing, been doing a lot of things really, really smart. I really have to give it to it. In my opinion, I think this game kind of like negates any reason to go back and play FES. Maybe not portable because obviously you have the female protagonist, but FES, dude, like we're about to get the answer. Like, what other reason would you go back? Other than, I guess, maybe to experience the original music. Which, yeah, it's got a little bit of a different vibe here, for sure. But, I mean, and maybe, like, you really like the old voice actors or something? Or the or the old dank dialogue? But I feel like this game kind of just... It's like the dead space of Persona games. Where it's like, yeah, the remake just kind of replaces the old one. Like, I really don't know why you would go back and play that other than for the sake of legacy. But I'm sure there's still purists out there who are like, No, FES supremacy! Fuka sounded better the old way! <laughs> there always is, right? But anyway, last episode, uh, Forest Dragon Slayer said, The true reason why Niku Bizzle had a rough night in Tartarus, he had to hold in the biggest shit and couldn't focus on fighting the shadows. His asshole is going to be Mount St. Helens later on. That poor abused toilet. You're right. 
That's exactly what was going on. I had to hold it back. I had to hold back my power like I was holding back these shits. Lest I rip this planet asunder with my massive duties. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Pistol. That's, that's, that's really good to know. Hey, man. It's like I always say. Gotta go. You gotta fucking go. This is why they really should have installed a toilet here in Tartarus. I'm just saying. But Forest Dragon Slayer, thank you so much for your incredibly enlightening and disgusting reason why I got my ass kicked last episode. And is that reason you are coming today? But all right, we did it. We freaking survived another single night through Tartarus. Now, you might notice my uh, SP and stuff is not in the same place it was when I made the last episode. because I went back through and I've grinded. Now I'm level 99. Now I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Grab down. No. I did go up a couple of levels, but I went back. Uh, I basically started from the ground floor and literally ran all the way up to where I left off and uh, ran through some of the old areas to get some money. So now I have about 50K in my wallet, not counting things I've sold. Uh, if you only went level, I, just, I think I went up like two levels. So I think I was at like 22 before. I gotta get Misu caught up actually. Because I did run into some gold hands. Yeah, man, no, th those gold hands for the 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 rare knight fortune those things just show up all the time now so i was able to get quite a bit of money from them um as well as some money drops and i've actually gone ahead and confirmed because i it, here's the one thing that does kind of suck you don't really know how much money you have until you leave and then go sell a bunch of shit. so i have actually already done that to, to confirm because what i wanted to get was at least 100k and that's what i was actually honestly seeing some people in the comments like nico i really just recommend getting 100k all right don't stop till you get 100K and then you'll be good. And I think you're right. Cause honestly, everything costs money and not just money, but a lot of money. Tanaka also wants a like 20K for his fucking social link alone. So like, yeah, I uh, I just figured I go through, farm myself a bunch of money and uh, get set up for that. And it's funny, I, 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 this I think might be the most money driven persona game in my opinion. Cause I, I don't ever feel like I was ever push for money in a lot of the other games not to this extent i could be misremembering but I, I really feel like this game is like damn everything's just cost a fucking shit ton and i think a lot of it just has to do with the fact that you don't earn money directly like you do in p5 i think p4 might have worked the same way but i think i, I remember right p5 was pretty easy to come by money like it really wasn't that bad great it's not like it's hard to come by money in this game it's just more that the game requires so much money to do stuff. Those weapons are expensive. The gear and stuff you get for your characters. Now I mentioned all the social activities, and if you want to get like the ones that give you the most, they cost some money. So anyway, uh, we're good. I'm all out of, of, of uh, freaking, what are they called? The the Twilight Fragments? Yeah, on my way back up, I uh, basically just went and bought like, or I, I found more chests. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Like, I essentially went back to previous old areas and they have like new chests and generally all i really got were more consumables like i think i got a few more bombs of life i got a, oh i got a billion life stones i could sell those for money i got a, quite a few soul drops yeah i got seven bombs of life it's not bad a few gems i don't know i mean maybe they're worth it maybe maybe <laughs> i don't know i guess we'll have to see oh here's another thing you guys mentioned to me and i had seen this or i'd seen you guys bringing this up and i, I didn't really see the significance of it but I get it now. People are like, oh, Nico, you know, if you go to the, the the shrine, you can make duplicates of the cards. It's for free and it doesn't take any time. And I'm like, that's great. But most of the fucking skill cards I have aren't that good. They're just like, whatever. Like, who cares? I don't want to make another fucking duplicate of Media or Bisuti because this is already going to be like a uh, null and void pretty soon. But then he reminded me, oh, no, it's not because you're getting you're getting it like, oh, man, it's going to help me so much or whatever. I mean, granted, you might get like dodge strike or dodge win. I could get that. But it's because you'll need it potentially to help with Elizabeth's request to make a persona with a specific skill. Right. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Good point. I mean, granted, you, you know, you probably could we could still fuse it together like the old fashioned way, but that would make things a lot easier. Oh, another thing. Apparently, these things that I'm getting here. Uh, these gems and stuff. I thought these were things I sold, but they're actually not. They're for something that has not yet unlocked, which really there's more that I have yet to unlock. I kind of figured the Theurgy thing was probably the last like major like gameplay element. The only thing I'm really selling is all this. All this shit is the stuff that I sell. But this stuff, including the black course that I need for that, uh, that one thing is not actually being sold. So they're just kind of chilling here for something. 
something later. All right, well, good to know. Uh, Elizabeth, uh, oh, we actually have something for you. Good day. Are you accepting a request? What is it? Oh, Black more chests. Yes. Six, six stuffed souls. Fuck yeah. Now we're talking. Uh, oh, did I not talk to you about this? Oh, well, fuck me sideways. I guess I, I didn't. I didn't talk to you about that last time. Wow. Okay. There's another 30K on top of the money I'm about to get. By all means. Okay. More treasure hunting. What do I have to talk to you about this fashionable thing? I have a deadline for it. I think these are usually from your own party members, but I don't know. Maybe someone at school. All right. Well, let's get the, uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Seriously. I got to take a ship, man. Hold this shit in for like Hello. eight days. What it feels like. All right, getting out of here. Go, 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 go! Wow, I shot so hard, it turned Morning. into another day. Morning! Did you get me up all last night? Yeah, my bad. I told you I was holding it in a while. You don't exaggerate, do you? I never exaggerate. It's true that there have been fewer cases of apathy since after our missions. Then again, that changes as we get closer to the next full moon. By the way, what do you think of Karicha Senpai? We have a new song? What do you mean? That's... You think she sort of pushed Fuka into joining too quickly? No sense to have more Persona users around, especially in battle, but... It just doesn't feel right. You still tired? This is like the, like, fifth time I feel like you brought this up, Yukari. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. Our language can be awfully complex. So you hate it when you know the meaning of a word, but you can't remember the, the word itself. So it's like a good time for a spontaneous question. Let's see, Junpei's shifting in his seat a bit too much, so instead... Listen. How about you, Bissokun? Ah, fuck me. Which phrase means able to see things for what they really are? Uh, keen eyes, mean eyes, bright eyes. Keen eye. And then, to be honest, I already kind of did this, because I, I had to go through this section in order to see how much money I had earned, because I had to sell things, so... But I think I already knew this one anyway. That's correct. You may very well have a keen eye yourself. Have a keen eye means you're able to see things for what they really are. You know, also help you make good decisions for your future. That goes for the rest of you. You need to learn how to make to look past the surface. Otherwise, we'll grow up to be superficial. I answer correctly. Everyone's looking at me in amazing awe. Okay. Time to go sell my hull. So we got... Oh, Gary, we fucking finish him off, dude. Hell yeah! We finish an Odagiri's off. That'll be our first one completed. Before we do that, by the way, some of you are like really feel bad about Maiko. Me leaving Maiko. Listen, man, the only reason I haven't done more Maiko is because I need to do the school ones. I, I realize that there's a there's a sort of an issue here with uh, the school ones in particular, where they become available, unavailable, not just on days off, but on exam days, like for like a whole fucking week. And that's when you want to go after like the old, the old man and old lady and all the other people outside of school, this little fat fucker over here. So that's, I, I'm trying to be optimal. All right. Don't worry. I will get to her. I, I do want to hang out with her. She's, that one's a really cute one. Uh, okay. Where am I going? That's right. I gotta go to, uh, go sell all my shit. Got like $800 billion worth of stuff. Okay, let me make sure, I'm absolutely 100% positive I'm not selling those gems. So these odd coins sell for 2,500? Nope, that's it. So wait, how much are we getting? 73K? Holy God! Wow. Wow. Okay, well that's, that's good. That's, that's very good. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and sell these too. I don't need these anymore. I'm gonna sell turtleneck. Go uh, 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 uh. sorry, you just buy anything, won't you? And fuck, I, could, I mean, I could, if I really wanted to, do I just go in here and sell sell these life stones? They're, they're not really that good, to be honest. I mean, I do it like you can heal yourself out of a fight with it if you really needed to. But like, if I fucking need that shit, I can. I in a pinch, I can sell it. But I, I'm pretty good on money now, man. Uh, and we got a sale today? Fuck yeah! I don't know if any of your weapons are actually as good as, yeah, what I have. They are not. They are actually, they're actually all kind of trash. What about my armor? Okay, Master Garment. All right, we get some new booties. You know, this Confused Boost actually might not be a bad thing to get. Just have on standby. And fear as well. Those moments where it's like, man, I, just, I, I know this guy is weak to this thing, but it's hard to land it. I really felt that in that last fight, right? 
Like, dude, I tried so many fucking times and failed to land charm on that enemy. So many fucking times. I think it, it took me at least like eight times where I finally landed one. And then when I landed it, that's what won me that fight. He was like charmed for like, like four or five churns. That's like, that's like one of the best like status effects, right? It's charm. It's sort of like a, there's like a, like a tier level, right? Like distress is probably the least useful one. Like it's sort of, it's, I can't remember what it specifically it does. It like, it stops enemies from, or like inflicting maybe as much damage, but like you hit them once and it goes away. Uh, fear is really good because that lets you uh, do uh, criticals on them, I think. And uh, confused is also very good because that it, again knocks them out of commission and they throw items at you. All right, uh, I'm feeling pretty good, man. Feeling fucking pretty good. All right, baby. Let's fucking finish this shit. Hey, dude, you're actually out here. I've been waiting for you, Pistol Coon. If you're planning to attend today's meeting, I could use your help with something. Feels like we can grow closer. Let's do this shit. Oh, thanks. Excellent, I owe you for this. I'd like to, to do a little presentation to help raise awareness of the student council. I'll do most of the talking, so you won't mind me supporting me. Which is what I believe to be the proper way to wear one's uniform. Please keep these things in consideration. I'm gonna kiss the shit out of Gary! I'm not saying everyone should follow this to the letter, so we'll leave it to the discretion of the individual. Holy crap! Did that just come out of his mouth? What the fuck? I think this is the first time he's cared about anyone else's opinions. Well, at least he's trying. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. But I didn't do anything. So, how did I do? What did everyone think? Fucking sucked. <laughs> I can tell him sucked ass. The end of your shit, man. It doesn't matter. You're gonna level up anyway. You're great. Thanks. Hearing that takes a huge weight off my shoulders. I may have painted a selfish, arrogant portrait of myself to everyone, so I'll have to win back their trust. Here, look at this. Check this shit what out. If the guys fessed up about the cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. It took a lot of persuasion, but he promised me he'll never smoke again. Here's his used cigarette butt. This lighter is proof of that. I earned his trust by showing compassion for others, just like you taught me. That's why you should be the one to have it. I'm gonna go use this slicing on fire. I guess I'll take it. I'll cherish it. Thanks. <laughs> Cheap lighter. I've spent my whole life looking down on others. Such baseless bravado. But you taught me an important lesson. Something I'll carry with me forever. You guys ever had gone through a day like this where at the end of the day you're like, you know what? I feel like I learned some valuable life lessons that are gonna change me for the rest of my life. And then, and then a fucking magical shit like floats over your head and you're like, you have reached the end of your insane social life that you didn't know was happening. What the fuck? I think we've all had one of those days, right? I don't think I'll ever be anything like you though. Odegaard seems embarrassed. Feeling unbreakable, fucking huge erect bond between us. Now. Ah! I am thou. Thou art I. I. The Ooh. bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Emperor Arcana hath been set, set free. free. We now bestow upon thee. The uh -huh. ultimate form of the emperor within thyself. Where's the ultimate emperor one? I did it, baby! Freaking did it. Wow. It's funny. This is definitely not the one I expected to be my first one completed. I really thought it was going to be like Kaz or something. But I didn't have any breaks with this guy. Like... Literally was able to get through his whole thing without any moments of like, well, you gotta go do some other shit. Ah, Odin, of course. Do you remember the story I told you about the TV station's writer? That man. He's my father. Ah. I see now that sincerity is important. And I'm proud of myself for understanding that. 
I also realized what an amazing man my father is. It's about time to go. Say, do you want to stop by somewhere before we head home? Now that I think about it, we've never hung out outside of school before. Walked home with Odagiri, who was in a great mood. And that was the last time I ever hung out with that motherfucker. <laughs> That's the unfortunate thing is that once you're done with these guys, you know, an unbreakable bond has been formed. Now you, now you can ignore them forever. <laughs> Hi, how was your day? Oh, uh, you know, just making them unforgettable friendships. Yeah, just some normal horse shit like that. No, anyway, how you doing? Um, um, as you know, my person is called Lucia. Since I specialize in detecting enemies and processing information, my job is to provide everyone support. So while I can't confront enemies directly like you do, I'll still do whatever I can to help out the team. You're doing a great job, little boogerhead. Let me think. I'm sure you're already feeling it, but the enemies are suddenly growing more powerful. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it now, Akiko. Don't be satisfied with how you are now. Working on improving your strength. If you went until after a tough battle, it'll be too late. You'll already be dead. I suppose. My better choice is the thrusting sword, because I like to thrust! It was once used to settle duels in Europe. Its power and accuracy may be average, but it's a reliable weapon with no particular downsides. <laughs> I personally do not like to gamble with the effect of my weapon, so it's ideal for me. Nice. They're gonna be supporting us. <sighs> she has the voice of an angel. <laughs> Dude, Barry, did you say that in the original game? Hell no, she has the voice of an angel? <laughs> don't be wrong, Greedy Senpai has a nice voice too. It's just that figure is just so calm and soothing. Hey, so. Greedy Senpai was doing support, now she'll be fighting with us. I was supposed to only do one or the other, but she could do both. She really can't do anything, huh? Has your weird hate boner with M Misaru K K Yukari. I think we have one more day, right? Yep. That's like, but uh, coincidentally, the, my plans are going to be ready the exact same day that this shit's going to be uh, up, so that'll be nice. Uh, all right. Now, I know I already shat, but you know, just for the sake of it. Now, that's... The unbreakable bond of a good shit, baby. Guys, I ranked up on my shit taking. Anyone? No? Who cares? Fine. Okay, so now let's go to Club Escapade. Trade that black quartz in. It's yours. Yeah, okay, so it gives me the. Interesting, so I gotta trade that in and then also put in another 10,000. Why, thank you. It is. Wow. Wow. See, this is again, like, what the hell? I thought, I thought I could trade that in and then it would make this be free. It isn't. I still have to pay 10,000 for it. That's what I mean. You use so much fucking money in this game. Does that? Yes. Okay. What other shit did you have again? The Avaricious Ring. So I get more experience. Aaron's ever store H one HP upon death once per battle. And protects wares from all ailments. Only a casual eight, half a million. No problem. No, 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 no. Not spend any more any more money on shit like that. Saving this for all the other crap I gotta spend it on. Oh, this this was the fashionable one. <laughs> forgot, I, I forgot which quest I was getting it for. Wonderful. Mm, these guys have a simple design. They do feel somehow sophisticated. Admittedly, I took a strong liking to them. Now to put them on. <gasps> Behold the new me. Yay. Oh my God, she's so cute. Oh, embarrassing. Um, my apologies. These glasses just suit me so well. I could not but get a little carried away. The moment I set that on, I felt like my spirits lift. Glasses are truly a gem. I've got complete a person's style. You have my thanks. It makes me want to wear them all the time. Thank you for bringing me a pair. Please take this as your reward. Power incense. All right. Just keeping them all the time. They're cute as fuck. Oh, we got to go do the big eater challenge at Wild Duck. Should go uh, actually attempt that. I don't know if I can. Uh, I'll ask, oh, I can't. I can't do. I can't ask Elizabeth out. I have to do that. I need to do. I need to just uh, remember to do that during one of these days because it doesn't take up any time. Night time only. The Wild Duck Big Burg Big Big Burg Big Burger Big. Wait, wait. The Wild Wild Duck Burger Big Eater Big Dick Entering Challenge is underway. Eighteen hundred yen. As was mentioned, there is a food challenge tonight. Should I spend the night here? Uh, sure. A notorious challenge even famous competitors surrender to. Let's see how this shit goes. Uh, uh, oh my god. Blah, 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 blah. 
It's not a huge burger. It's just lots of burgers. This is a ridiculous amount of burgers. I wonder if I'll be able to finish it all. It's going to go straight to my thighs. No matter how much I eat, the amount of burgers doesn't seem to decrease. In fact, they seem to be multiplying. Focus on a single burger. Look away from the burger. Glance at the pile of burgers. Hmm. I'm thinking I just don't look at the burgers, right? Don't don't focus on the pile. Look away. Eating while staring off into the distance made me feel a little bit better. Okay. I feel like I'm making progress, but I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Eat without stopping. Take breaks in between bites. Wash it down with soda. Oh, I don't know. I think I think putting more soda on top of that is probably not a good idea. I think taking breaks in between bites isn't a good idea because the problem is that it settles into your stomach and then it'll get to your brain and it'll tell you that you're you're eating fat, you're eating too much. So just go, just eat as fast as possible. Working through the pain, I managed to maintain my pace without stopping. Okay, it's a vile stretch. How can I keep this up and complete the challenge? Um, savor the flavors. Imagine something sour? Chew properly and slowly. Um, imagine something sour? I'm not sure I understand that one. Chew properly and slowly. The funny thing is, these two feel like they make sense and this one doesn't. Which almost makes you think it's this one, because... But I, I don't understand it. <laughs> I'm, I almost want to hear what he says, even if this is wrong. Imagine something sour. Imagine, imagine eating something sour instead help me What? Why? Why does imagining eating something sour help you maintain your... That was right? It was right? I don't get it. Imagine something eating something sour. That would make me not want to eat more. <laughs> I'd be like, ugh. Sour stuff can be, you know, something that you're craving or whatever, but eating a lot of it? Also, that duck back there is sentient. I just realized it's fucking moving around looking at me. He's like, I can't believe it. Look at that kid. It's fucking disgusting. Time's up. I managed to eat the mountain of burgers. I am a god. Pacing technique and mental fortitude were all required. I feel like I've grown. I feel like I've, yes, grown inside and definitely outside. And it made me smarter. I am a smarter person for eating 800 burgers. Cool. I'm getting every, what, some for everything. Hell yeah, go me. Oh, hell yeah, I got more courage to you. I'm tough. Tough as nuts. Thanks for completing the big ear challenge. I can order, now order the limited weekend wild duck set when it's available. Huh. I wonder what that is. Oh. oh, there you are. Good timing. There's something I have to tell you. For now on, you no longer need my permission to go to Tartar Tartarus. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. Why? Well, because Yamagishi can suppress the board. She's present. You won't need my help. But it's to tell her not to let you go if I'm not available, or Akiko, for that matter. I'm just worried something ex unexpected may happen. So please keep that in mind. One more thing. Could you set aside some time tonight? Won't take too long. All right, I'll see you later. Okay. We're getting new dang drip again. Uh, all right. Fuck. Well, we have um one social link now maxed. The Emperor. Now I gotta start focusing other on other folks here. But first, Velvet Room. It's as if your presence emanates a far brighter radiance than before. Perhaps all your hardware is starting to show. Oh. I'm looking. That wasn't what I was. That wasn't what I was about. Yeah. Th th thanks. But more importantly, I have prevailed. Wonderful. It's a complete request. So you took on the burger establishment's eating challenge. Wasn't aware that completing it would grant you access to an off-menu combo. Marvelous. What a truly generous, uh, something. Truly generous something. That has only made me hear more to challenge it with myself one day. That's all I got for that. 312. Oh, I guess the reward could have armed my stats anyway, so. Bring me some potent medicine. Where do I get that from? Do I just get it from, from the pharmacy? Oh, Good hey. Day. Something else? Are you accepting a request? Oh, no, let's probably hang out with her. But before I do that, Very well. before I do that, I do not see potent medicine here. All right, Elizabeth, let's do this shit. My. I've been waiting for you. So we on our way. Oh, here we go. All right, I actually remember what this first one is. Oh, my. An encounter with one of your world's exquisite treasures. Right out of the blue. <laughs> These are amazing, by the way. 
So this is the fountain. Yeah. It makes sport of water, a precious resource, and the very foundation of life. Such a sinful form of art. I've heard of its mystical powers, wherein those who offer coin may have their wishes granted. Uh, yeah. It's a superstition. Maybe so. Calm down! Maybe so. Then I must try my hand at this. Fortunately, I anticipated this and brought a hefty sum of coins. 2,000 of your 500 yen coins, to be exact. <laughs> I shall make an opening bid of 1 million yen. Check this shit out. So caught up in the excitement that I started tossing coins without giving my wish any thought. This won't do. I shall give it more careful consideration before I return here in the near future. Bunch of people out here like fucking leaping there, just like, like oh my god, the money's through there. Hmm? What is this facility here? I see there's a gentleman inside with quite the stern face. This is where we buy our guns. These photographs displayed so prominently. Most wanted. Reward. Hmm. Would it be correct to presume that these are your version of my subjugation requests? Kinda. Pretty much. You don't kill them. I'm not sure. <laughs> you don't kill them. I see. So the target must be captured alive. I shall keep that in mind. This edifice over here, is this what you call a club? Dancers, dictated by the sway of one's inner passions. A subterranean garden, flourishing with uninhibited desires. Yeah, people do get down and dirty in there. <gasps> oh no, it's closed right now? See, this is why we tried to. I was trying to hang out with you in the evening, but you kept saying no. It'd be the daytime. You, this is you. You did this. Oh, what a pity! I had hoped to become part of the scene. <laughs> the scene. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah! Oh my God! Look at her fucking go! Oh! Damn! I'm not gonna lie, that was fucking hot. Ten out of ten. <sighs> well. That was quite satisfying, but I'm overwhelmed. Everything looks so new and inviting. Everywhere I look, something catches the eye. If you don't mind, could you perhaps recommend our next activity? Let's go to karaoke. Let's go to the, let's go to the fucking arcade karaoke. Now let's go to the karaoke. Karaoke. Oh, could it be? It appears the time has come to demonstrate my hidden talents. One may even challenge professional singers at the touch of a button at this karaoke. Uh, excuse me, would you mind waiting for a moment? I hadn't noticed there was a fountain on this side as well. More coins! Oh, yet another fountain. On the opposite side, I see. So this place plays host to a trinity of fountain spirits. I apologize for the wait. Let us continue. Okay. Now then, I shall perform a song of exultation for my master. Sing along <laughs> if you will. La la la. <laughs> ah, la 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 Oh my You've never heard this song before? Thank you for the invaluable experiences you've shared with me today I consider this mission a complete success By the way, I, I think I've said this on stream before I don't know if I've ever said it here But uh, Elizabeth has always been my favorite Velvet Room attendee Alright Nothing against the other ones Alright I think Margaret, Margaret's okay. I, I think her kind of be a little boring, 
I think that uh, Justine and Caroline are fun. They're they're goofy, you know. They're split personalities, and then of course, you know the the person they become at the end, right? Is also uh, she's also very cute. But Elizabeth's always been my favorite. She's just fucking hilarious, and a lot of it also comes from these these little these little uh, story missions with her. These little these little outings. They're so funny. Sound forward, but I'd like for you to accompany me again sometime. Sure. I mean, I, honestly, this went better than I thought. I was pretty sure someone was gonna die from this. And figured that person was probably me. Return to the Velvet Room with Elizabeth. Thank you for earlier now, then. How may I be of assistance? Got more requests? Request? Oh, we do! Oh, that, that was that Let's one, yeah. The results. Thank you for showing me around Polonia Mall. Regarding that fountain, I still haven't decided what I would what to wish for. Shame. Unfortunately, my master has vetoed my wish to renovate the Velvet Room with a dance floor. I was so set on establishing Club Velvet that coming up with another wish has proved to be rather difficult. Oh, marvelous! I wish to come up with a wish. There, that settles it. Small Chiangsum. With the acquisition of the small Chiangsum, you now fuse swap. Oh, hey, the classic the little little red fairy. Okay, cool. All right, I got some choices here. I got Bebe, uh, Kenji, Kaz, and Jihiro. Ooh, hey, I'm a. Uh, so I need to. I, I I had to go back here. So I'm like, I want to do some more Kaz. I need a chariot one, and I can actually fuse uh, Captain Kid. That'll give me some good levels too. Oh, this persona comes from someone who walks a different path from you. Someone not here. Someone not here embodies the strength of its original owner's ferocious heart, and will surely become yours. What? Hey, that's cool. That's a nice little detail they include that in there. Why, this is exciting, isn't it? Behold! My name is Captain Kidd. Come, hoist the flag of virtue within your heart and let us wreak havoc together. Cool. Yeah, see, this is the benefit also from, from fusing them instead of just uh, simply uh, buying it, too. For getting your free one, because I can get now the big boosts like this. So Tarakasha, Shock Boost, and Ziagna. Ooh, they get Swift Strike too. That's pretty good. And they uh, wow, it comes with electric driver. Oh my strength and electric skills by 75%. Fuck. That's that's a lot, man. Alright, cool. Alright, Kaz. Hey, and practice, right? I feel pretty good by myself today. The power of Captain Kid, let's go! Yeah. Awesome, can't, can't get sucked up without you there, feel me? I was slowing down late, so I gotta go twice hard now. Miyamoto! What is it? And what's with the scary look? What do you think you're doing? What are you doing? Just practicing? Well, that's enough practice for you. Get your butt to the nurse's office. The rest of you, get back to it. The nurse's office? Miyamoto, did something happen? such a bad liar. You can totally tell he's going easy on one knee. I know you have something to do with this. Sorry, but you're coming too. No. You don't take me a lot. I head to the nurse's office with Yuko. I just had a call with your mom about your knee. You're throwing caution to the wind, young man. That blabbermouth. Piece of shit. I want you to stop before things get any worse. You got that? Please don't do this to me. I need to practice. I heard, Kaz. Yuko! And you too? Bizzle too? Take some time off, Kaz. Practice can wait till you're all better. I can't! I don't have time! You don't fucking can't! What's the rush? Why do you do these things to yourself? You've been hanging around with Miyamoto lately, right? You must know what's going on. I don't know anything. I say nothing. I say nothing! <sighs> Wait. He has nothing to do with this. Bizzle! I don't want you to get dragged into this. So I'll come clean. Miyamoto's trying to protect me. 
Oh, we're coming closer. All right, rank eight. So, truth is. Uh, pocket sand! <laughs> Ow, my eyes! Now, run, Bizzle, run! I shit, fuck up! And that's the gist of it. So, I need to practice. I have to win, or else. I know how you feel, Miyamoto, but. It all depends on me if my nephew ever walks again. <sighs> so, that's what's going on. Suddenly. I don't mind if he competes in the regionals. It's just the individual competition, so we don't have to worry about him bringing us down. Hey, what happened to practice? We were worried about Miyamoto. Guys. I'll let you keep training for now. We'll see how things go. But if I tell you to stop, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to listen. And I want you to go home today. Your mother will be upset with me if I let you stay. Sorry, coach. Everyone, I... I think we're done here. The rest of you, back to training. Get out of my sight, all of you! This string with everyone went back to the dorm. You're all trash, all of you! The fuck's going on here? Welcome back. With that, we have all the second years present. So, what exactly are we all here for? Ah, I had planned to give Yamagishi a tour of the dorm. But I realized I never actually showed it properly to any of you since you moved in. Uh, yeah, it's kind of late for that, I think. I feel, but whatever. I apologize for that. I'd like to take this opportunity to make it up to you all. <laughs> a little late for that. It couldn't hurt to do it anyway, just in case. I already know where all the vending machines are, right? What's the point of this? You never know if a certain someone might screw around blind and break something in here. Oh, come on! I'm getting by just fine. In fact, I know the place so well, I could give you a tour myself. <laughs> You'll make a great assistant, then. Humor me a bit, won't you? With the increase in members, I'd like to expand our access to facilities. Wait, new stuff? Sweet! New things? So what, are we gonna get, like, hot springs? Maybe a casino? A new bathroom? Please tell me a new bathroom, come on! You are so stupid. We'll just have to see now, won't we? With that, let's begin. Yamagishi, follow me. Oh, okay. Thank you for setting this up for me. This is the communal kitchen. Oh! Looks so clean now. I didn't realize the kitchen was so big. Big! I was planning to do this earlier, but with April's shadow attack and ensuing investigation, I just couldn't find time. It should be far more accessible now. You're free to use any of the kitchenware here. Ah! Do you all cook your own meals? I didn't know this existed until now. <laughs> Other than that fridge refrigerator in the corner. I've seen Akihiko in here from time to time. As for myself, I can't say I do. I let the dirty peasants do it for me! We used to have someone who cooked with some frequency, but... I'm gonna think of it. I only ever come here to get hot water. What about you? I don't cook. I'll try it, I don't know. Your shit. If you care about eating a balanced diet, there's no better way than to cook it yourself. But it's not as cheap as they make it out to be. It's hard to use everything up before it goes bad. Wow, Yukari-chan. Does that mean you know how to cook? This is probably why the fridge is free this day, right? Because they actually introduced the kitchen to you. Huh? Oh, I mean, I can do it, I guess. But I'm no chef. It's been a while, and I've had my fair share of embarrassments. But with a kitchen this big, I think a couple people could work together in here. We can have the work, but double the flavor, you know? I should try it next time. If I advise someone to cook, we could use this kitchen to make something. Moving right along, then. Okay. Here's where we all head. This is a TV, and that's a VCR. The fuck's a VCR? I don't know. This is the lounge. 
Well, I suppose it requires no further explanation. Wait, is that a DVD player? When did that get here? Oh, it's actually, it is a DVD player, okay. Oh, that's mine. That slot up there looks real fat. I brought it with me from home. It's a bit of an old model, though. Thanks. Don't mind keeping it in here. If I took it to my room, I'd be watching alone on my laptop. I hoped you all might make better use of it. Ah, sweet Luca. And besides, I like the colors more when I watch in a CRT. Yeah, classic shit. The sofas here are pretty comfy. It'd be a perfect place to sit back and watch. Oh, maybe this would be a good place. There are some movies I've been wanting to see, but I'd rather not watch them alone. What's this? Is Yucatan afraid to watch horror flicks? It's quite a shocker to see your soft side. Hard to imagine you're even the same person. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Uh, wait, what did I say? I take it back. I didn't mean anything by it, I swear. You've got some nerve, Junpei. You better watch your back next time we go to Tartarus. I'm gonna use that fucking energy on you. In the back of your fucking head, you're gonna die. Die, bitch. Um, Yukari-chan, you're kind of scaring me. <laughs> you're probably watching DVD with someone here, assuming that any of my friends are still alive. That wraps up the first floor. Let's move up to the next. Huh, we do this in the last game? I don't even remember. Or, oh, way, I mean, in the, in the original the game. Are we allowed to borrow those books on the shelf in the back? No, don't touch them! Of course. Those books were donated by residents of the dorm. I peruse them from time to time myself. There's also some porn in there. Just leave that. This area is pretty sweet. Nice and quiet. And let me tell you, those chairs are mwah, soft. When I cozy up here with a good book, I end up reading way late into the night. Those chairs? Dude, there's no backs on them. What are you doing, lying on your ass? Or you're just sitting, sitting there like slouched over? Shit, nah, fuck that. <laughs> Manga. <laughs> I think manga is a respectable form of literature. Maybe I'll try reading here as well. People are always coming and going from the lounge, so I could see this place being less distracting. I think I'll be able to focus and read a book here. If I'm a nerd! Please utilize it however you'd like. Any piece of literature is a means of broadening one's horizons. Even a hentai. Aye, aye, Captain! Just one thing, Iori. When you finish a manga, put it back on the shelf. I don't want to see them piled up on tables and chairs. Hi, hi. <laughs> Jeez. Keep an eye on Junpei so he doesn't make a mess of this place. I'm not this guy's keeper, Yukari. Let's keep moving on then. Yes, you are, dude. Damn it. We'd been keeping the rooftop off limits, but recently decided to open it up. Yes, I've literally been the only one doing anything up here. The chairman wanted to start a small garden here. Wow, I had no idea there was something like this up here. Is it for growing vegetables? God, they seriously, he seriously never told anyone else about this shit fucking... Oh boy, I can hear him now. Eat your veggies, peas. That sounds about right. With a terrible smirk blasted on his face. You like hear him laughing in the distance, like, ah -ha -ha! <laughs> I hear you're the one taking care of it. Looks like it's shaping up quite nicely. The chairman was right to put you in charge. Yeah, most of the plants I've planted here are already dead. But thanks. Uh, are you okay doing this all on your own? It's no problem. Could use some help. You're in charge now, Jupe. <laughs> what, me? No, no, bad idea. No, it's all yours. You take it. This, this is your social link now. I tried to grow morning glories for a project in elementary school. Not a single one left. But hey, maybe this is my chance to give it another shot. I can help out from time to time, I guess. The more time and care you put into this kind of work, the better the results. Cooperating with someone on this may be worth your time. I might be a bit interested as well. I'm suddenly more interested in this. Having someone help me with the garden might affect the end result. 
That wraps up this area. Let's head back down. And that concludes the tour. Well, it's probably really useful like three months ago. Being shown around kind of makes me feel more motivated to make use of those places. Did you get all that? Anything you're still unclear about? Everything. I'm not sure. Let's do it again. Good to hear. I hope your stay here is an enjoyable one. As long as all of us remain considerate, the dorm will continue to be a comfortable living space for all. If there's anything you'd like to do here, you may want to invite the others to join you. Yeah, we're all living under the same roof after all. Better make the most of it. I've never really done anything like this before, so I'm a little nervous. I'll try my best to enjoy myself here with you all. This may be coming a little late for most of you, but welcome to the dorm. But most, I mean all. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Come think of it, the crops I plant on the rooftop should be ready to harvest. Better go check on them. Also, that fridge. The hell? Happy face. Happy face. What? What the fuck? What does the happy face mean? Anyway, let me go ahead and stick this shit in here. Jupe, if you steal this again, I'm gonna fucking murder you. Put the shit in there. All right. Potatoes. So wait, what do the potatoes do? Raise the tech. Uh, allies attack for three turns. Eh, eh, I mean, I guess, okay, I guess. It would be nice if it was like for everybody. But this is like, I, I could do this, dude. It's not that exciting. Now, I wonder if this uh, inviting people up there to help like harvest it or raise it or whatever. Maybe that'll make it uh, a lot better or something. Maybe it'll actually make this into like a Ma Tarukasha potato. Or, like actually gives everybody a boost. Or increases the uh, the total harvest, maybe. I don't know. Let's try another tom uh, tomato plant. So we got smiley faces here. What's going on? Can I help you? Uh, what are you doing? Um, is, good, is there if I top ten to the rooftop planters too? This should be interested in gardening for a while now. You know, can I join you? Spending time with your peers in the dorm at night. You have some time to spend with your some party members. Doing something might lead to some interesting revelations. Sometimes these discoveries can be helpful in battle, so don't be shy about approaching your teammates. While you can garden alone, raising vegetables with the help of your friends will result in more plentiful harvest. Ah, it is that. Veggies raised with the help of others will take on different effects depending on who you are gardening with. Wait, more plentiful harvest and then change, it does change the effects? The quality of the produce might improve if we tend to the rooftop plants together. I guess let's... I'll say that'd be great. Sit on the rooftop then. It's just, I, mean, I assume this takes time, right? <sighs> so this is what it's like growing plants. Oh, should we be measuring the pH of the soil or monitoring how much sunlight they're getting? You seem really into this. We don't need to go that far. pH? Um, it's like a measurement of acidity or alkalinity. Depending on the plants you're growing, the soil needs to be a certain value. I looked up a bunch of stuff online. I thought it might be helpful. I do like flowers and stuff, but I've never really worked with them outside of arrangements. I've always wanted to try putting in the work to grow some, though. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to go on about myself like that. Shall we keep working for a bit more? I'll go get some water. I turn the rooftop planters with Fuka. This looks good. Thanks to the care we put in. It looks like we'll, this will be a big harvest. Do you think you could invite me when you tend the plants again? I'll do more research so I'm in a better position to help out next time, too. That definitely does use time. All right. Uh, cool. I can hear people talking. Did you hear there's an opening in the art club? Seriously? Really? What the fuck? Someone tries for schools? Sounds interesting. I'm tired of going straight home. It's time to join a club. Another club. Let's go check it after school then. Opening the art club. I can learn more about them if I visit their club room. Okay. I don't even remember. Who is this one supposed to be on? I don't know. I guess we'll get 
started. All right, let's begin. Paul, Sarah, and Azunomas. We all need to start somewhere. We're almost building a day. Same goes for magic. You gotta learn its background. Today, I'll teach you about the origin of magic. Long, long ago, the dawn of civilization, man created primitive religions. Animalism, totemism, shamanism will all fall in this category. None of these all in world history, right? The last one, shamanism, is important in the origins of magic. Shaman would fall into a trance state and act as an intermediary between the worlds, but it counts as magic where humans can have the power of gods and spirits in their own hands. The shaman style of magical tradition would later be embraced by witches. Take the common European rich as an example. People today think that witches derive their power from contracts with the devil, but that's just Christian propaganda. The witches' predecessors were more like maidens serving the gods. It was through prayer to those gods that they earned their powers. They learned to control their magic without losing consciousness during their trance states. That's how they originally woke to practice. Originally, Europe was full of religions, worshipping a slew of various gods. The collective term for them is, is paganism. Interestingly enough, the celebrations of Christmas and Halloween have pagan backgrounds. You pay attention, no trance states for now. Yeah. Here's just to see if you were paying attention. Get it wrong and your afterlife won't be pleasant. Palazero and Azanomas. Shep it. Ah, choose Bizzle. What early religious practices with the origin of magic? Shamanism. Cool. Very good. Be born your next life as a human. Paganism and Christianity have a closer connection than one might think, as the Roman Empire grew so did the Christian population within the empire. At first, each religion practiced separately without issue, but... I answer correctly. Everyone looks at me with amazing awe. Look upon my work, see mighty in despair. Apparently, our club is recruiting new members. Might be able to learn more about if I visit their club room. Okay? Uh, I guess we should probably go start that. No says, our club, new members, welcome. Color the world. Fuck it. <gasps> huh? Oh my god, it's totally not me! Um, you're not a member of this club, are you? Ah! Do you know him, Yamigishi-san? I am the most reggae character. Oh, yes. He's the one I was just telling you about. Ah, so he's the one, huh? Yeah, that's right, this guy. I do not, I literally remember actual dick about this guy. I've heard a lot about you from Yamagishi-san. We're looking for new members to join our club, so I mentioned you. I'm really happy you decided to stop by on your own. And, um, I'm Keisuke Hiraga. Pleased to meet you. He should be the one introducing himself to you, Keisuke-senpai. You're the club leader, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Still the same as ever. Yamagishi-san is back, and now we're getting a new member. Maybe I should be a little more active here. Wait, aren't you a third year Hiroga-senpai? Don't you have entrance exams coming up? No, I, uh... Don't worry about that. Hey, do you have an eye for art? I have an eye for shitting. What? Don't worry about it. Uh. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> then maybe we'll get to learn a thing or two from you. <laughs> Cause I don't. Meeting you like this can't be just a coincidence. It must be fate. Whoa, calm down there, big guy. I'm just joining your club. Let's get you signed up, shall we? Prior, give me a warm welcome. I have joined the art club and made friends with the members. Ah! Uh, star? It looks like a sword, but is there a star in the center of it? Oh no, fortune. I think it was a star. No, it's a sphinx in the center. Just so you know, only club members are allowed to enter this room. So don't forget to turn in your registration form. The art club meets on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Okay, another three-day week one. But we don't meet on the days leading up to exams. We should be studying then anyway. You don't have to come every day, so just try to show up every now and then. Or ever, if you don't want to. Who would have thought we'd end up in the same club? Okay, I'll get this all processed. Looking forward to painting with you. 
Also, Fuka is, I think, uh, social link should also be available now. I think she's on, I think she's on the roof, actually. Granted, I can't do hers. All of the female, uh, party members, Yukari, Mitsuru, and Fuka require maxed out social stats. Mitsuru requires maxed out intelligence. Yukari, I think, requires maxed out charm. And Fuka requires maxed out courage. Still remember that from the original. I've joined the club and decided to go back to the dorm. But just don't find out where she is. Just like remember for the future. I, th I think she's on the roof. I see you're back. Oh, you're back. Made some progress for the time being, but we still can't afford to drop our guard. Even though we have some time until the next full moon, the enemies are growing stronger too. I mean, if you plan on going to Tartarus, after all, you gotta push your limits with training. Already pushed push my limits enough, thank you. Ah, can you go got a smiley face now? Uh, see us on TV. Coming up, loading them all to see us. We won't be, be there, though. Uh, face ran Ranger Featherman R every Sunday. Don't miss it. By the way, says you're playing an online game. Is that true, Bazooka? Yep. Oh, so you play with people all over the world, right? It's great that the internet is able to connect all kinds of people. I should give it a try. By the way, I see certain clubs have begun actively recruiting new members. Oh, maybe you're already in a club, aren't yes. you? There's no rule against joining multiple clubs. Feel free to join in any that pique your interest. Juggling studies, club activities, and shadows won't be easy, but it surely builds character. I know, right? Probably, probably a lot easier if I didn't have like fucking school and homework and shit, right? Hey, do you think apathy syndrome can be cured? Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, maybe if we defeat a shadow, if the spirits in Abel will return to their owners. But then again, they might just get digested. Oh, let me check my fucking shit over here, man. It's gone. I know this place looks like it's from the chairman. Uh, dear Biz, I apologize for eating your taiyaki. I bought the same kind, but I forgot that I had put mine somewhere else. I'll make sure to buy another one for you. In the meantime, please set this as apology. Motherfucker, I'm gonna kill you. Look about my love for Taiyaki. Fishy. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking murder this guy. SP item though. Precious egg. You will get me an egg. Okay, next clearance day is the 30th. Holy shit. Okay, that's good. Full restore SP of one ally? Fuck yeah. Now we're talking. Hey, do you know how to cook? I have to eat enough to make up for the burning training, so it ends up being a lot of food. So you just cook it all at once. Appreciate sure your help if you have the time. Mr. Sonata wants to me to cook with him. Should I spend the evening with Sonata? See. Hmm. So like, what what is the point of this? I guess I'm just gonna make like some kind of food item. I'm almost wondering if I should be using this time though. Like, okay, let me just see what it does. Hmm. I feel like I should be using this time to, to level up my stats. I owe you one. Thanks. Let's get to it. This is technically isn't actually like, you know. Chicken tenderloin, eggs, broccoli. We're gonna boil them one after the other. Not actually giving me like you know, social link stats or anything. This is a staple for an athlete. Full of valuable nutrients and not too hard to cook either. The problem is what comes after. Next, you gotta portion everything out and then put it in the freezer. It's a lot of work. You sure work hard, it's not like a pain. The protein powder's not enough, man? Getting all of your protein from supplements isn't really realistic. Plus, protein powder is expensive, and food gives you other nutrients, too. All right, let's get started. Not wrong. Gotta eat food, can't just eat protein powder. <sighs> it's done. This should last for a while. That really went by fast. The work is so much more efficient with two of us. Here, you take some, too. It's perfect for a midnight snack, since it won't really put on fat. Iron Athlete Meal. I know your diet is important for building a strong body, but I'll admit, I'm not much of a cook. I could use your help again sometime, if you don't mind. I might be able to try something more elaborate with your help. Maybe I should buy some pig's feet. I hear they're rich in collagen. <laughs> pig's feet. Ugh. All right, let's see what this does. What the fuck? Good morning. This is Elizabeth. What? There is something I wish to discuss with you, so please come to the Velvet Room post haste. Okay. Again, how do you get this number? I believe this matter is of great import to you. Uh huh. I shall be anticipating your arrival. Did you guys finally install a bathroom in the Velvet Room? Hello? Damn it. This just wants to tell me something important. What could what could be so important? Alright. More importantly, 
Well, hey, look, it's finally not two girls talking to each other about something. Here are people talking. By the way, Carisha Group was on the news yesterday singing about showing their true colors. Yeah. Carisha. Oh, student council president? Hey, they're involved with a lot of things. Even the school's owned by Carisha Group, right? I know, right? I wonder why a company that that big decided to build a school. Good question. Oh, okay, go to the vault room. Just gonna load the load the game. I've been waiting for you. Or check and see what that item does. Forgive me for calling you so suddenly, but there's something I must have bring to your attention. There seems to be a human presence within Tartarus between floors 48 and 53. What? Appears to be someone without the potential who heard the voices of the shadows. If left alone, I fear they will become lost and may perish. Very well then. Please find and rescue them. What? Oh, come on. Oh, what the fuck is this shit? Do the influence of shadows. Civilians may will sometimes get lost in Tartarus and become missing persons. Missing persons will be somewhere in Tartarus and must be rescued within a set, set limit of time. In the event someone goes missing, details will be posted on the bulletin board in front of the police stations. So keep an eye peeled. What? What is this shit? Was this in the original? What is this additional shit that it, it's trying to make me go to Tartarus some nights? Trying to waste more of my demon time. Ayako Yoshimoto. Deadline is July 6th. Didn't return from school on uh, June 17th. Last seen around 9 p.m. at Polonium Mall. Okay, July 6th. Is that, is that when the next full moon is? Uh, It's the day before the, the next full moon. Motherfucker. You could have had this before I went to fucking... Tartarus. Well, I guess I can just wait till the last minute. Or I just leave him to die. What, I mean, what's the point of saving him? Do I, get, I must get something. Also, let me check my item real quick. A manly meal cooked with Sonata increases all turn attacks, allies attack for three turns. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know what? I'll hold on to that then. Ah, constant rate to level up. Fuck, I got so little uh, points from the last one. I don't know if I could have gotten more if I fucked up or something. I only had like one choice, I think, though. I think some of them were like impossible to like, you know, like do like straight through without anything, uh, without having these like off days, even if you picked all the right answers. I don't see Fuka on the roof anywhere. All right, let's just hang out with Kaz again. Get him built up, get him ready. All right. Come on, give it your own God. All right, growing closer soon, good. I see no happy faces. No matter the battle, proper balance is key to winning. Not just power, mental strength, agility, and some luck, too. It's not easy to train up each aspect, but if you keep experiencing what life has to offer, you get the training along the way. Let's see. Well, we can't suck on our expedition in Tartarus if we want to solve its mysteries. It's important to rest and make time for yourself as well. Free to go outside and spend time with the others in the dorm. Just don't stay up too late. Yeah, whatever. Uh, next is the news. Ayako Yoshimoto, a 30 year Genkan High School, has been reported missing. Hey, there it is. Please are searching for leads and asking for the public for assistance. It's possible that she may, she may have wandered to Tartarus. Gotta go rescue her. Ah, whatever. Now nah, I'm gonna leave her to fucking die. I don't give a shit. I actually really do wonder what happens if you just, like, let, let him die. Hey. I'm guessing you just missed out on, like, an item or something. Kept thinking about a curious senpai dragged Fuka into this. But Fuka really seems determined to do her best, so I guess there's no point dwelling on it. So I'll just focus on my, doing my best, too. Which is kind of funny if you think about it, because, like, the whole point of, like, uh, Persona 4 is going in and saving people from, like, dying inside the TV world. And this is just like, what if that same thing happened, but you just had the choice to just say, nah, fuck it, and leave me, <laughs> let me shit and die. Like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Oh, Fuka's up here. And she's got a smiling face. What the hell? What's this all about, girl? Um, help you? Hi. Um, do you like pretty books, Bizzlecon? You see, there's this near future sci-fi series that was popular a while back. Found it at a used bookstore and bought the whole series, but it's been sitting on my shelf for a long time. I started reading after moving into the dorm. It's really interesting. Uh, read sci-fi novels with Fuku could help with my academics. Huh. Hold on, hold on a second. Oh, I can actually see him on, out here, too. Little smiley faces. I wonder how many points I get for this. Well, let's just see. Let's just see how much we get. Glad to hear it. Okay, I'll go get them from my room. Do you read a lot of science fiction novels like this? Bizzicon? Read them quite a bit. Enjoy one here and there. Not really. Read them quite a bit. Oh, wow. I guess it's good that I invited you today, then. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt while you were reading. If you don't mind, can you let me know your thoughts once you finish it? 
didn't notice the time. How far did you get? Wow! You read that much already? Huh? I made a lot of progress too. Was I more focused than usual or? But my academics have improved thanks to the skillful expression in the writing. Oh, I only got one? Ah, uh, that's not great. Ah. Uh, um, if you don't mind, do you think we could read here again sometime? I used to think reading was only a solo activity, but now I think reading with someone helps me immerse myself deeper into the fictional world. Yeah. I'm here whenever I can spare the time, so come by if you can. I'd be happy to have you. Ah. Uh. That's enough for today. Yeah, that was cute. That was fun. I enjoyed that reloading. So essentially, I can pick between a study session there that gives me uh, plus one or two points or go to Wakatsu where they have a limited meal set that I can get plus four points for my academics. Yeah. The shame I don't really, really get anything else for it either to make it worth, worth my while. Sorry, Fuka, as adorable as that is. I have to be optimal. All right, CV full course. Oh, uh, mega threes in my brain. Good morning, Bissacon. Um, it's a beautiful day, is it not? How are you feeling today? <laughs> not bad. Why so formal? Sorry for being so awkward, I failed today. I had just a chat with someone on the way to school, so I got nervous. But I think I'm getting used to life in the dorm. Plus, I'm pretty excited about everything we can do there. Let's do the place up on the roof again soon. Okay. Just for you, silly Billy. Hey, there's Fuka. Actually, can she just show up here? Is she on the roof? No, there she is. She's just, she's just hanging out over here. Oh, uh, Pizzacoon, are you on your way home? Let's walk home together. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was about to do some research. I'm actually learning how to cook, but I'm still just experimenting. Don't think I can make anything edible at this time point. I don't want to waste your time. If I volunteer to help her, I might regret it. But I don't have the courage because I feel like I'm, af I'm afraid I'm going to die at any moment. I need my curse to be literally maxed out. A fucking badass. Yep, that's just how it be. It's how it bugging be, boy. All right, Kaz, right, let's keep it going. Yep, for some running business, let's head on down the track. Let's go. <laughs> well, I keep pushing yourself too hard, but at the very least, I gotta be there to support you. <laughs> fucking booking it, bitch. Everybody, gather around. You've probably all heard already, but Miyamoto's knee is in bad shape. He's all fucked up. If you see him having a hard time, I want you to stop him immediately. That's it for today. Let's grab a bite before we head home. Let's go with Miyamoto. Sorry I needed your shoulder again. And I was the one who suggested we go eat. Yeah, I'm sure you love lugging all this dead weight around, huh? I don't mind at all. No, not exactly. It's fine. I'm tough as hell. I don't mind, man. Really? Well, I guess you haven't been complaining. I mean, I've always known you were tough. Sometimes when I go to my sister's to play with my nephew, I help him into the tub. Even though he's only five, he's still pretty heavy. It must be hard having to do that every day. If I can't walk, then I won't be able to go to school or bathe by myself. I won't even be able to go to the bathroom on my own. And I don't want to do that to my mom. Oh. This all hit me on our walk over here with you helping me the entire way. Hey, let me know if I become a burden on you, will you? I'm not going to hide anything from you. So I hope you feel like you don't have to either. You know what really cares about me a lot? They're like coming closer. Oh, one more, baby. Hopefully, we're good to get all the way to level 10 there. I feel guilty for making the whole team worry. But first, I have to win at the regionals no matter what. For their sake, too. Yuma and I finished seeing walked home together. Gotta do it. Do or die. Welcome back. Sup, dude? Sorry, dude. I'm running to the, the store real quick. Uh, okay. Bye. 
Zeus on TV. Rain festival is long ago, especially this year when forecasters are expected a little rain. The festival is called for. Okay. Hmm. Got this yes, but cooking for myself once, but I bought way too many ingredients. Could have a lot of leftovers in my hands. Looks like Yukari wants to cook with me, me to cook with her. Uh, let's just hear it. Let's go make something tasty. I picked up the ingredients to make chicken saute today, but I might have bought too much. I think my eyes are bigger than my stomach. I always end up having leftovers. What about you? Would you say you're a big eater? Hell yeah. Eat like a bird. Eat like a pig. Depends on the taste, baby. Come on. You're worried before I even make it? Yeah. I'm sure it helps if it tastes good, but don't set your expectations too high. Mm, let me just apologize in advance. Well, either way, it'll be packed full of nutrients, so don't worry about that. They say your health is your most valuable asset, you know? I figured we should think about what we're putting into our bodies. And if I could lose some weight while we're at it, I'd kill two birds with one stone. But let's put that aside for now. Anyway, why don't we start with veggies? Can you cut the tomatoes for me? I made chicken saute with Yukari. Uh... <laughs> I chose breast meat because it was cheap and I heard it's good for a diet, but it's kind of dry. Okay, very dry. I can barely chew through it. <laughs> and that was unexpected. I don't usually mess up this kind of thing. Hey, you're doubting me, aren't you? I'm serious. I am doubting you. This is garbage. Thanks for my garbage chicken saute that heals my HP. I'll make up for it next time. So let's cook together again when you get the chance. Fuck no. It'll be so delicious. You can't help saying yum. I don't believe you. Pretty sure we were doing that. If it's, a, it's an HP healing item. First, what do these dumb kids have to say? By the way, you know Mr. Kirisha, the student council president? You know the person we were just talking about the other day? We're just gonna study abroad for high school. Probably prepare herself to run the Carisio group of the future. Wow. Wow, it's crazy. It's like she lives in a different world from us flebs. But she's staying in a dorm, right? Why would a rich girl want to live in a dump like that? With a bunch of fat assholes like Junpei and that fucking Bizzle kid. Hey. Your family made her. There's sound or us ordering folks like live or something. I'm not fat. You're fat. Fuck you. It was your car's chicken, all right? It's our fault. Do you have a moment? Yeah. I was just told that the chairman will be stopping by this evening. When you get back, make sure to come to the fourth floor. Oh, okay then. I'll see you all later. See you bitches in the f on the flip side. Talk about short notice. Maybe he wants to tell us a new joke. Okay, I hope not. Who knows? But I am a little curious. Guess I'll head straight back today. Shake. Oh my god, I like how all this shit starts fucking happening the moment we got damn it. <laughs> it's like I would have to reload, but then it's like, but by the way, now we're also get, including freaking Koro Chan! Koromaru. Ah, uh, it's baby. Oh, we did it. What a smart dog. Hi, doggy. Oh, welcome back. This is again. Hey there. What's the dog? Can I pet him? Pet the dog! Sure, go on, Koro-chan. You know how to say hi, right? Best animal sidekick right here. Fuck Morgana and Teddy, right? It's Koromaru all the way. Good dog. His name's Koromaru. I've seen him sitting by the steps of the shrine. Oh, this dog still goes on walks all by himself? What do you mean? He's so pretty. He used to belong to the priest at the Naganaki Shrine. Every afternoon, the two of them went this way for a walk. So that's what he was doing here. That is, until the priest passed away. He passed away? Oh, you haven't heard the story? I think it was about six months ago. The priest was hit by a car while walking his dog. Ever since then, that dog has continued to go on walks, always stopping to sit by the site of the accident. But he refuses to let anyone take him in. 
Why, just the other day, my son... Oh my goodness, look at the time. I must be going. My son will be home soon. Get him away! Oh, you're such a loyal dog. Good boy. Who's a good little bugger? 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 Huh? Is he? What's wrong? Uh, oh, nothing. Sorry. What can you see, Fuka, with your special eyes? Is there something unique and crazy about this little, uh, this little fluffy good boy here? Could it possibly even be that he has fleas on him? Bury the flea shampoo. More importantly, isn't the chairman coming today? We should probably go get ready. Yeah, you're right. See you later, Koro-chan. Bark. Hello, everyone. I gathered you all here because I wanted to let you know how my research has been going. Wait, you do research? You mean you like do things aside from make bad jokes? It concerns the shadows that have been appearing during full moons. Now, I want you to listen closely. It might be hard to follow. Shadows can be divided into 12 categories, according to their characteristics. This we've known for a while. We can think of it like their class or order. I've classified the special shadows we've seen so far, and well, it's simply fascinating. Why are you so excited about it? It's on a 13th level, a level beyond what I thought possible. So... Ah, right. Those four shadows belong to categories one through four in order of their appearance. They may have looked different than the more common ones, but the classification scheme still applies. And that's something we should be excited about? Oh, I get it. There are 12 in all, and eight we haven't seen yet. That's exactly right, Yamagishi-kun. You're quite sharp. Oh, uh, okay, but what are they after? That's a good question, and that's what we haven't figured out yet. Their motive. Is it is it 12 based on the arcana? Are there, are there 12 Ar arcana? I don't even remember. They don't kill their prey. They feed on their minds. Their minds. Now, it could be considered predation, but is it really? Is there actually an underlying intent behind their behavior? Actually, no, I think it's way more than that. <laughs> I think it's, there's way more uh, arcana than just 12, and more social links than that. The purpose of the shadows as a whole. That's what we need to consider. This is interesting. But no matter what their intent, we still have to beat the rest of them. I agree. That's about all we can do at this point. Eight more, huh? Lucky us. According to the data, each one has been stronger than the last. That means we better start training harder. Gotta level up. We'll manage. We've got plenty of time. But why does Tartarus even exist in the first place? Questions, but no answers. The pulse beasts are falling into place one by one. There's large shadows that only appear on the full moon. Wonder what their fucking demon purpose is. Eight more remain. We have a long road ahead of us and probably 800 more hours. Uh, oh yeah. No, there's, there's way more than 12. There's way more than fucking 12. All right, anyway, loading back up because we're not, we're not doing that one. Oh, wait, wait, oh wait. Actually, hold on. I didn't even look at the item, what the item did. That's the whole reason why I waited. Chicken saute. Restore 100 HP to all allies. Nope. It's all right, I guess, but I'll do it for the scene so we can see them at least, you know? But uh, if it's like shit like that, then no, I'm not I'm not committing to that. That ain't worth it, brother. All right. Let's uh, eat a hot curry and get some special hot curry bowl. Yummy. 
Ooh, I'm popular now. Hey, that means only one more stat or one more level for charm and I'm done with it. The weekend wild duck set is finally here. Plus your free comes with the set that will have extra ice. Huh, I better go check that out. The question is, do shadows act independently or are they working together towards some goal? In essence, does a group of shadows target a single human and ravage his mind with purpose? Or is each individual shadow simply devouring human minds for their own survival? This is what we must discern. I'm sorry. I'm thinking right now, if you're looking for someone to talk to, go the fuck away! Um, um what's up? Um, I read an estimate on the strength of large many shadows that appeared during the full moon. And as you can probably guess, we're going to be in for a long, hard fight, but then we can handle it. I'm sure we'll be fine as long as we keep training and growing stronger Tartars. Let's do both for our, do both do our best. We got TV. Aki, you're just here and watch me watch the TV. Hell yeah, I am. Our topic today is the rising divorce rate among June brides. Lately, divorce is becoming more common, sometimes happening immediately after the honeymoon. What caused this? We're poor right after these messages. All right, what are you doing, Akiko? Do you know he's the DVD player here? I might as well use it once in a while. I have this compilation of some of the greatest matches between boxing legends. I'm sure professionals' techniques like this will surely help us in our battles. Might help me gain more courage. Okay, hold on, hold on. What about you, Junpei? Yo, what up? Taking care of the planet is up top, right? Might we get a try? You guys are in slim dudes, right? Might be good to eat some vegetables after all. Uh, okay. So we can make the tomatoes better. I think about Tartar is such a mystery. How long has it been there? Why did it appear in the first place? Think we'll ever know the answers? Press do those fucking documents we saw at the end. And maybe the solid treatment from this girl over here, but nah, I didn't mean anything. I probably had nothing to do with any nothing. Hold on a second. Tanaka's here. Can I just give him my money? Or will it, will it actually start it if I give him the money? Here's twenty thousand dollars money, motherfucker. That'll do it. Don't be in touch with your fortune's been made. Nope, I have to come back to him later. Okay. Alright. At least we have that started. We got twenty thousand dollars. Saturday, Sunday, nice only. We can wild duck set. So what is that exactly? Oh, it just gives you more courage. I see. So this is this is the 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 extra boost of courage that you can potentially get versus the mystery burger. That that's probably what it is. So this, this one's probably the other one gives you four because everything else we've already come across. The other one else, the seafood platter gives you plus four. We come across the uh, Hagakure big bowl that gives you plus four for charm. And then this one will give you plus four for courage. That would make sense. All right, hold on. Before we do that, let me, uh, let's do this. Let's watch this movie with Hagakure and see what happens. They're supposed to give me courage as well. So let's see uh, how much potentially. All right, let's start watching. Just from looking at a single jab, you can tell how different everything is at the top level. And not only are both fighters strong, they each have their own unique fighting style. But what kind of fighter is your favorite? <laughs> He's so into it. A boxer with a strong punch. A fighter with slick footwork. Footwork. Someone with a big mouth. A fighter with slick, slick footwork. I get that. The essence of boxing is to land hits without getting hit yourself. I tend to rely on footwork in my matches too. But someday, I'm hoping to master the style of infighting. Now that I'm watching these again, I can see there's a lot to learn from professional matches. Plus, when I do it here, I have someone to discuss things with. Let's do this again next time you're free. My courage has improved watching the intense boxing matches. I only got one point. Fuck! God damn it all, a demon lord! <sighs> uh. Man. Watching those guys fighting is making it hard for me to sit still. Something like says, making me hard. I was you like, what? head to my room and wail in the punching bag for a bit? Hell yeah. <laughs> Nod. Ah. It's, it's great. I wish they gave me more. Right? I wish they gave me more. More points to make it be like, yeah. Give me more of a reason to, to do it over the other things. We're trying to be optimal here, damn it. All right. Eat at the wild duck. <laughs> So I had to try a weekend wild duck set. Taste was indescribable. Some I finished the whole thing. Ah! <laughs> Gotta have courage for Fuka too, you know. Funny thing is, I don't even know if I can start Yukari's yet, technically. And like she's been hanging out there in the classroom, but you never actually see her like available. Like I did Fuka, and I think technically Mitsuru. 
Uh, there's no school today. It's almost time for the Home Shopping Network. Oh, well, I never got money for it now. The diet support set. Hey, next I don't want to change your diet. Look for an easy way to lose weight, then we have good news for you. Uh, okay, so the amenity suit. Uh, and then probably a diet, super diet food. Okay, sure. 9,800, sure, that's fine. All right, time to hang out with our pal Maya here. Let's do this shit. Machinigawa Dungeon. Oh, Tatsuya gets here soon. Mm. Maya's walking nearby. I'm not even complaining today or anything. So rare. But I have to tell Tatsu because he's my MMO partner. I'll be brave. Mm. Oh, I'm so lame. I'm blushing for reals. Oh, no. Now I'm starting to feel sweat. Get sweaty. Uh, are you talking to yourself? Hurry up and tell me. <laughs> tell me. <gasps> oh, I don't see it. E. Maya well, seems to be having fun. I want to tell you last time, but I chicken out. Blush. Maya well, seems to be embarrassed. I'm kind of interested in someone from school. Mm. He's kind of a student, though. Oh my god, I said it! Mm. Oh god. No, the male teachers are even in my bleak, so I get, gave up looking for BFs at work. Ugh. Never thought I'd fall for a student. <laughs> Am I going to jail? P probably. <laughs> That's kind of crazy even for me. Uh, What is he like? Are you going to ask him out? What's he like? It's kind of quiet, but real mature and intense looking and hot. Mm. I love this emo when emo face he makes sometimes. Who needs food and water when I got that? Also, he likes to take lots of big shits. Mm. That's probably just a coincidence. Also, he's got blue hair and his name is Bizzlecoon. Mm. Probably still just a coincidence. Also, he's constantly falling asleep in my class, but I don't care because he looks hot when he does it. Mm. No, yes, that's, that's, definitely, that's definitely somebody else. Maya seems happy. He's one of my own students, actually. He lives in a dorm because his parents passed away. Just transferred in this year. Maybe I can post some streets to talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. I am his homeroom teacher. Oh, my God. Oh, by the way, you don't need to be jealous. It's just a little crush, okay? Tatsu is the only game partner for Maya. No worries. <laughs> Man. Oh, Lord. Oh. This is one, I think this is definitely one of those moments where this hasn't aged quite as well. <laughs> be fair to, I mean, it was always weird, right? I think it's always weird, but I feel like in like, now I hear it's like, yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm falling for this, un, my, this underage uh, student of mine, you know? It's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, listen. I think this this social link is hilarious. In the ending to it is it's so fucking funny. It's funny. I, I didn't remember this part actually. And even this, like, it's sort of the same reason why I didn't like the Kamikami one. You know, like romancing her specifically because it just felt like, like I, I don't know. It feels kind of not right to me. <laughs> but I don't know if this is like I get it. I get it. This is like sort of a fetish fetishistic thing. But it's also like, damn dude, I, like I'm still like, how old am I again? 16 or something? And how old are you? In your 30s, 40s? Who knows? Until Maya care cares about me. More than I would like to admit. Eight. So I, I didn't actually remember her saying that on the, the computer. So by this point, I think you can almost pretty much figure out who this is. Who, who she is. I'm not gonna say anything, all right? I'm gonna still say it because you, you will see a moment at the end and it's great. But yeah, the game actually really does go out of its way to tell you exactly who this person is. I, I This had completely slipped my mind. I haven't made my app yet, appointment yet, but now I'm gonna go to a salon. Bizzlecoon will be half her heels for me the next time he sees me. All right, Tatsy, I gotta go. Let's think, think positive. Maya's player signed off. I signed along as well. <laughs> I, I, no reaction. I'm completely unfazed by this. I always knew and I didn't care. <laughs> Nothing. No reaction at all. Where the fuck is everybody? Hey! Hey! Is everyone else having out having a life or something? The lights are supposed to revolve around me, damn it! Up on the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Fathomana! Episode 18, Death of a Condor! Get your hankies ready, kids! Everyone's about to demon die today!
Yeah, no one's there. Literally nobody. Oh, wait. Oh. Just where you guys are. So, Christian Senpai, it's not Senpai around tonight. So, let's go to Tar some other time. I think I'll take it easy tonight, too. Hey. Karmar's so cute. He's such a loyal dog. Certainly. I wish we could take Karachan in and look after him here. So, Senpai could be in charge of walking him since he goes jogging quite often anyway. Right? Yeah, I could totally see them running along the river together or something. But I kind of doubt we could be allowed to keep animals in the dorm. <laughs> well, we're a special unit of this shit anyway, right? Karmar is really one of a kind, huh? Really is. He's such an obedient boy, too. He always used to be at the shrine. I wonder if he's like, eating okay. Oh, really? Why don't we just keep keep him here? I think Karisha Senpai would say yes. I mean, doesn't she seem like the type to have a Doberman at home? And she defeated the highest quality filet mignon. To be good, I think you read too much manga. <laughs> you said a bit of you. Give me all the fucking red balls. I mean, mad balls. Legally distinct mad balls. All right. More wild duck. More. Hey, so. Hey, Bizzlekun, I've been thinking. Like for last, when we learned about the 12 shadows and their connection to Tartarus, isn't there just too much we don't understand? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's something about it that bugs me. What the Demon Lord's going on? Oh, God! <laughs> Cartesian coordinates really are beautiful, aren't they? By the way, you guys point out to me this is supposed to be a lady, but I don't give a shit! There is one in particular that's my favorite, though. Are you curious? You are, right? Right? Yes, her name is Miss Miyahara. This curve is a graph of the Cartesian equation. Well, that was discovered by an Italian mathematician, Maria Agnesi. He's actually named after her. Some people call it the curve of Agnesi. However, it's more, more commonly known by another name. Yor, do you have any idea what it is? Are you? Huh? How would I know? And can we even talk about math anymore? Psst, Nico, do you know the answer? What do you call this curve? Orthogonal curves, the Fermat mate spiral, the Witch of Agonese. Apparently it's the Witch of Agonese. I always knew that. That's correct. That's correct. I'm surprised you even knew that. <laughs> I didn't know that. As to why it's called Witch. Nobody really knows. Apparently, it came from a mistranslation of the Italian word for the first scene of a curve. First sign of a curve. Merely an inadvertent mistake, I suppose. I make careless mistakes fairly often as well, but it's pretty embarrassing when you mistake last for generations. I mean, the shape of the curve resembled a witch. Maybe they'd have to look out away with it. But alas. Ha, this is common sense, Miss Sam. Everybody knows that. Oh, thanks. Phew, thanks, Nico. I was about to sound like, really like a real stupid. This helped him out. Oh, so you can always count on him. Yeah, that's right. Um, keep on popular brain. All right. Oh my God. All right. Cause available. Is he fucking able to level up? Yes. Yes. Let's fucking max that shit out today, boys. We max that shit out today, boys. So a girl in Gothic Lolita get up in front of the station. Man, she was cute. I had to go up and ask her out. Say, hey, wanna catch a movie or something? She didn't even move, except for breathing. She didn't even bother looking my way. Mika says we're covered. <laughs> Fucking pubescent, horny pubescent student over here. Always got a weird things to say. All right, Kaz. Heading to practice? Hey, there you are. Set to practice, Bizzle. It's time. Let's finish this shit. So we'll race downstairs. Just kidding. Let's say it for the track, yeah? How are you holding up, Kaz? My knee's not so good. Can't put too much weight on it. Okay, then let's take an early break. You mind giving Kaz's leg a quick massage? No problem. Let's see that leg. Sorry. You're missing practice because of me. Hey, don't be like that. This is for your nephew, right? This is for Billy or whatever the hell's Still, name is. I'm really sorry. Then we'll wait back to the dorm after practice. Bizzle. Do you have a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, actually, let's go somewhere else. I don't want anyone from the team hearing it. Plus, it might take a while, so... Let's go somewhere. Anywhere. Anywhere. 
Instead of broiled fish fills the air inside the restaurant. Uh, where do I even start? It's all a mess in my head. First things first. This is for you. Sports tape. My nephew gave it to me. He said it's a good luck charm. He gave me more than I'll ever need. And if you get hurt during practice, now you can tape yourself up. I wanted you to be the first to know. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna have surgery to fix my knee. Hell yeah, brother. What about the big meat? What about your promise? What about the big meat? I don't think there's enough time for me to recover by then. But that's okay. I don't mean to pout or anything. I'm just trying to stop making selfish choices. I don't think it's right for the whole team to suffer because of my knee and my nephew. Even if I manage to win, I don't think I'd feel good about it afterward. Up until now, all I could think about was winning. But my eyes opened up after Coach grilled you about my knee. It was such an obvious thing. I realized I can't keep thinking only about myself. Winning still means a lot to me. That's part of who I am, and that's probably not going to change. But for now, I'm not going to worry about winning races. I'm going to focus on winning back my health instead. Got this! <laughs> well, I can't exactly force myself to heal, you know? Anyway, I can't just keep asking for your help all the time. That said, thanks for everything you've done for me so far. Between practice and rehab, I'll have a lot going on. But I'm gonna kick butt both of them. And someday, I'll kick your butt too. Bring it on, bitch. You must share how much she cares about me. I feel like we've become closer. So close that we are, in fact, united as one. I am that Damn, look at us. Max out two, two social links in one episode. Finally matured. Did it, guys. We fucking did it. The innermost power of the chariot arcana hath been set free. What's the ultimate chariot? I don't remember. We now bestow upon him. The ultimate form of the chariot within themselves. Mara! <laughs> Mara's running a chariot with its massive dick. Not Thor. Thor! Sorry, I, for some reason my brain was going to Odin, but no, it was the other of the uh, almighty gods. I'm gonna go tell my nephew what happened and offer to go through rehab with him. I wonder which one of us will recover first. He's a tough one, you know, just like me. That's a nice one. I passed the, the time chatting away with Miyamoto. That's a nice one. Welcome back. Hey, did you hear us? Let's come up with the equipment of the command room. You basically looked at it, but it seems like it's really been breaking down a lot recently, doesn't it? I said no clue what I was looking at. Miss Coon, could you check it out later? For some extra dank lore? Um. Um. The other day I stumbled upon something online while doing some research. Apparently there was an unexplained explosion near our school 10 years ago. At the same time, a large number of students refused to attend school. They just reported that. Before stated that the incidents were somewhat related. It's all just a story. Now it's all in the past, but it just doesn't it make you curious. We sure, demon does. Nah, I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Yeah. Really does seem like the shadows are, does does seem like the shadows are progressively getting stronger. Well, that's nothing to be too concerned about. If we put in enough effort, we'll win. If we don't, then we lose. Pretty simple stuff. Right. It means there's nothing for us to do right now but keep climbing towers and building up our strength, and also watching reruns of Feather and R. I was burned down. It caused the neighbor's home to burn down as well. Police are investigating the, tr the possibility of arson. For our next story, a dead body was found behind Port Island Station last night. The victim seems to have been a student at the nearby high school. Police are currently searching for any evidence relating to the incident. That wasn't me. Right? That guy's still missing. Deadline was July 6th. What was Misa who wanted it to do? So you, do you have some time to spare right now? The company heads gifted me some quality tea leaves. We have to serve you a cup. In order to better appreciate the tea blend, it's better to brew enough with t for two, you see. Sure, let's just, uh... Thank you. See what this is all about. So, 
help yourself to the snacks as well, if you'd like. Damn, casual meets the room. Today, I wanted to show my thanks for your hard work, as well as check in to see how you're doing. Ever since you joined us, you've been taking on a lot of responsibility as leader of our group. Have you been running into any trouble? If you have, please don't be afraid to let me know. Not really. A little, I guess. Does it have to be now? A little, I guess. I apologize for putting so much pressure on you. I'll do whatever I can to help. I have to say, I am grateful that you agreed to take on the leadership role. And I want you to know that you're doing an excellent job. Akihiko was right about you. Your cup is empty. Let's pour you another. More! Mr. and I enjoyed tea together. It's late. We ended up spending a lot of time here. Now kiss me! Let's turn in for the night. Uh, looks like tea. Oh, I'll take care of the cleanup. HP healing. I'm glad we had the chance to talk today. I'd like to invite you again when the opportunity arises. Then with that, I bid you a good night. Fare thee well. <sighs> Alright, well, where are we doing that? <laughs> Sorry, it's just a heal it's just an HP healing item. No thank you. You seen that. Alright, time for the academic meal. Get smarter while I eat. I can be visited by that kid again. Fuck! How did I... Whoa! What the heck is this? Uh-oh! Good evening. Oh god, they're here! <sighs> Are you surprised? Not Derek Stephen Prince this time. Truth be told, we all visit this world every night. What are you saying? Who the hell are you? <sighs> Didn't mommy teach you any manners? You haven't even introduced yourself. Come on, take a look. Name, address, age, etc. This is you, right? Huh? Where did you get this? Somebody's got a grudge against you. And they asked us to get revenge. Revenge? What kind of bullshit is this? Who put you up to this? Can't tell you. We're professionals. Professionals? Oh shit! Those rumors online. You're saying they're true? For real? For real? Shall we get this over with now? Hey, wait! I haven't done anything! Why me? What'd I do? That is not our concern. Your notion of right and wrong is irrelevant. My client's wishes are all that matter. People hear what they choose to hear, and believe what they want to believe. No! Stay away! Get away from me! You squeal most magnificently. Such raw emotion. Ah! Dead. He's not dead. Doesn't matter. We held up our end of the bargain. And besides, tomorrow this will just seem like some random crime. Well. If there's nothing else, I'm feeling rather tired. They finally show up. I can remember, I was like, when do these guys pop in? It's a while in the game before you first see them. Hear people talking. Have you heard? Have you heard of this revenge website? If you miss someone's name of the website, I get revenge for you. It's out of sick guarantee success rate, completely anonymous. Seriously, give me the URL. I want to check it out right now. Oh my god. I want to kill that bitch from fucking uh, Classroom 4E. Well, it's just rumors. I don't know, I know the details. Why are you so desperate, anyways? Revenge website. I wonder if it's a new ghost story. Ghost. 
Our spell is wrong. All right. Class has ended. Kaz, you are done. You don't need to be standing there with your, that thing in your overhead anymore. We are finished. Well, all right, guys. I think this is probably a good spot to end things here for now. All right, we're making progress. We're, 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 we're making progress. We've maxed out some social links. I'm hoping we can keep it up. We're trying to be as optimal as humanly possible. A very large chunk of my stats are leveled up here too. With only, uh, let's see. Well, so my academics are still only at level three, but charm is almost done. And courage won't be too far behind now that we also have the uh, the the Wakatsu like weekend set. That should help quite a bit. We're gonna do this shit, guys. Right? We're gonna fucking do this. We're gonna level all these motherfuckers up. See everything this game has to offer. All right? I see you guys to send me your energy. Okay? Your picky pick with energy. We're gonna do this shit together. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe for an all red gum picky penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.